The Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD, streamlines operations, enhances security, and provides an intuitive management experience. When you configure Cisco Business Wireless, CBW, access points and mesh extenders to be directly managed by CBD, you may come across a connectivity issue. The problem may be with a certificate on an access point or mesh extender on the network. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to download and install a self-signed certificate onto an access point for connectivity and direct management with CBD. Next. Start by logging into the web user interface, UI, of your Cisco Business Dashboard and navigate to the Inventory menu. Under the CBD Agent Status column, my Catalyst 1300 and CBS 350 switches are showing as connected. The CBW150 access point is showing as disconnected. You may notice that the CBW151 mesh extender doesn't list a status. This is because mesh extenders are controlled through a primary access point. You can also view the status by selecting the network menu and clicking on the network. The topology map shows the issue as indicated by the red color of the CBW150AP and the orange color of the CBW151 mesh extender. To see the issue details, log in to the CBW150AX web UI, navigate to the Advanced tab, and then CBD settings. If you see a notification of CBW CBD error, CBD serve CA is not uploaded in CBW, the primary AP and CBD can't communicate. This can be solved with a self-signed CBD CA certificate uploaded into your CBW primary access point. There are two different ways to resolve this issue. The first is to download a certificate from CBD and then install it. In the web UI of the dashboard, make your way to the certificate section through the menu by selecting System and then Certificate. I can see that the common name is associated with the private IP address of 172.16.1.109, which also appears in the subject alternative name, SAN list. Should values need to be modified, you can click on CSR to generate an update. Next, proceed to the Action section and choose Copy. From here, you can open Notepad and paste the copied information. It's important to ensure that the text includes Begin Certificate at the start and End Certificate at the end. Keep in mind that Notepad saves files in .txt format by default, so the file extension will need to be changed accordingly to .pem. Navigate back to the CBW web UI. Under the Advanced tab, select the Primary AP Tools menu. Click the Upload File tab, the blue Browse button, and then the file. Click the Open button, and then Apply Settings and Import. Once complete, a verification shows on the web UI. Alternatively, you can do this by using the dashboard connection and online with the web browser. To do this, Navigate to the CBD Settings menu in the Access Point, disable the dashboard connection, and click Save. Now that it has been disconnected, make sure the IP address in the dashboard port is correct. There are two methods for connection setup, online with a web browser and offline with an access key. I'll select online with web browser. Once the settings are configured, Enable the dashboard connection to re-establish a new connection with the updated certificate and click Save. Log in to the CBD using your credentials. From there, select Associate Network and Direct Managed. For my example, the name is C1300 underscore probe. The location was saved when it was set up. Click Next to proceed. Verify the information on the page and click Finish. If you see the dashboard connection is enabled, but the connection status is still indicating as down, simply refresh the browser. Once the page completes the refresh, the connection status should show as up. You can verify this on the Cisco Business Dashboard by going to the inventory menu once again. Great, the CBW150AX now shows green 
and is listed as connected. There you have it. Your CBW connection to the Cisco Business Dashboard has been fixed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.